Hey brothers, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Doom Eternal came with an in quotes battle pass system that gives you cool skins for the demons, the Doom Slayer icons and banners when you level it up. This battle pass, or better known as the event series, lasts for about a month and when it ends, another one starts right away, with new skins, icons and banners for you to unlock by leveling up. The only way to unlock skins and stuff for your account is by completing challenges in the campaign, like beating the game on Ultra Nightmare difficulty and by leveling up your series event. I think that cool and badass skins that you can unlock by just playing are a good way to incentivize the player by just playing the game basically. Anyways, in today's video we are going to talk and showcase all the skins and content that is going to be coming to Doom Eternal in the future. Right now there's 50 plus skins for both the Demons and the Doom Slayer that have yet to be released. And we're also going to get more master levels in the near future. Anyways, 70% of my daily viewers are not subscribed, so if you enjoy the videos I produce and want to know everything about Doom Eternal, consider subscribing and leave a like. Thanks for the support and enjoy the video. So these are all the skins that are going to be coming to Doom Eternal in the future. Some of them will be unlockables in the series event or the battle pass, and the other ones will be unlocked by completing the new master levels, reaching max rank and something along those lines, you know, by challenges. Some of these skins, however, have already been leaked on Reddit, like this four. We have the cosplay Slayer, and I actually remember seeing someone wearing this at QuakeCon. If you want to make a cosplay of the Doom Slayer but do not have the skill or the time to make something that complex, this skin is basically canon now, so go for it, bro brother or sister. We have the Hot Rod Doom Slayer, which, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Poison Frog Pain Elemental. If you see a frog like this near you, do not get near it, please. You are going to die, brother. And the Frost Revenant. This one looks fantastic. Actually, actually, it looks so good. And I'm glad that the Revenant is getting the love that it deserves. But like I said, those are not all. We have 50 plus skins that are yet to be released, and some of them have been teased in the art book of Doom Eternal, like the Heavy Metal Marauder, the classic Revenant skin. Now we are finally going to know if the Revenant actually has pants or not. The Maker Doom Slayer skin, the Cultist Doom Slayer skin, the TV Painter Doom Slayer skin, the Zombie Marauder skin, the Zombie Revenant skin, the Commando Pain Elemental skin, the Cutting gear hunter doom slayer skin this one looks absolutely fantastic i mean this one is basically taken from warhammer 40k he looks like a goddamn space marine maybe a gray knight so yeah we need this skin ASAP. It appears that the Mancubus, the Pin Elemental, and the Revenant are getting a ton of love lately, and my poor Marauder is being left in the darkness. The Marauder has only three skins listed, which are the Frost, Heavy Metal, and the Lumberjack Marauder. But we have also gotten the Inferno, Imperial, and Gold Marauder skins, so there could be a possibility that there is content for the Demons and the Slayer that hasn't been listed yet. Anyways, these are all the skins that we're going to get for sure. For the Archval, we're gonna get the Asuri Flame skin, the Classic skin, Maker skin, Molten skin, Us Vile skin, and Roswell skin. For the Doom Slayer, we're gonna get the Asuri Classic skin, the Classic skin, the Cultist skin, Flame Head skin, Maker skin, Neon skin, TV Painter skin, Bronze skin, and the Hot Rod. For the Mancubus, we're gonna get the Black and White skin, Black Widow, Blue Shift, Frost Mancubus, Hot Duckubus, Hagwar, Molten, Rock, Rune, Snakeubus, Sunburncubus, the King, which is the Elvis Presley one, and the Toxic Blob. <laughs> we need a skin for the Mancubus named the Chunkubus. Because, yeah, that's chunk. The Mancubus is a chunky boy. Name him the Chunkubus. That would be so fun. For the Marauder, we're gonna get the Frost skin, the Heavy Metal skin, and the Lumberjack skin. I wonder how the Lumberjack skin will look. 
basically a shirtless marauder i guess for the pain elemental we're gonna get the two pain which we already have in the last series events the bubble gum the commando cultist molten poison dot tiger zebra and sentinel skins and for the revenant we're gonna get the classic revenant skin the cobweb the cyberpunk i wonder how that one is going to look Maybe some neon glasses for the Revenant, which refer to Cyberpunk era or something. We're gonna get the Flame Skull skin, Frost, Infernal, Race Scar, Radioactive, Spooky Ghost, and Void. These are all the 50 skins that we're going to get for the Demons and the Doom Slayer in the future. I do not know when we're gonna get them. Maybe on event series, maybe on Twitch Prime drops, or maybe they're gonna be like drops if you do challenges for the master levels or battle mode, something along those lines, you know. But one thing that we can all agree on is that it is kind of disappointing that the demon skins do not transfer over to the campaign of Doom Eternal. That could be because of the new destructible demons technology that was implemented into the game, because of that complexity of some of the skins for the demons, like the heavy metal Marauder, it could be really hard to translate his actual skin to a destroyed version of that one. It is already a very complex technology and a very crucial part of the aesthetic of Doom Eternal, so I understand why the skins not transfer to the campaign. It would have been so cool though, and it's a little disappointing, but those demon skins are gonna transfer to the campaign in invasion mode, so yeah, we at least have that, which is going to be Fantastic. Talking about the campaign, we already know that we're going to get more master levels soon. Those being Exaltia, Super Gornest, Marscore, Doom Hunter Base, and Final Sin. And talking about master levels, there was a huge outrage because the Exaltia master level being locked behind a Twitch Prime subscription. But Bethesda has come forward and said that that was their initial plan for the master level but ultimately decided to backtrack on that decision and leave it for free. Good decision, Bethesda. Proud of you. Keep working. Talking about the campaign, and a little bit of speculation on my part, what do you guys think of having new character, new characters or a new character in the game that we can play as in battle mode or the campaign? Imagine playing as the Betrayer or King Novik or even Samuel Hidden in battle mode or the campaign if that's possible. These characters could offer new abilities and metas for multiplayer and single player, and they could be a good mix between playing as the Doom Slayer and them. Please let me know what you think about Doom Eternal having more playable characters in the game down in the comments section, but if you want to go super crazy, maybe they could even add BJ Blazkowicz from Wolfenstein, or even Ranger from Quake. Its software is very open to brainstorming, on ideas, so please let me know what you think about that. Anyways, I think that was all Spartans. Thanks for watching. And so, okay, Spartans, that's all the time I had for today's video. Please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked it. Thanks to all of my patrons who made this video possible, and links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Thanks for watching. Adios. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? I cannot even end the video. Oh no. <gasps> my computer is. No. No. My computer. Guys, it got stuck. My computer. No, the fan. No, please. No. I've been trying to record this video for like. Three hours, please let me know. No, I cannot I cannot miss this. I cannot miss this file. Please do not get corrupted. 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 Please no, do not get